About six months ago, I started working here at Pathways to Education in Winnipeg. And this is geared towards uh, particularly the North End, uh, low income, intergenerational poverty, uh, newcomer communities and certainly Aboriginal, where uh, getting to graduation uh, has been a struggle that uh, most of us and other communities might take for granted. The struggle would be getting you know, your homework turned in or getting to your sport practice on time and so forth, but literally getting to school, uh, literally eating, literally having the appropriate supplies, these are the things that the program was designed to, to fill those gaps. This mural was done rather quickly, uh, but I think it's an example of the um, ingenuity and creativity and, and some of the foundation that this whole, the history of the site is based on. These are the four uh, pillars of support. So we have the tutoring, which is academic mentoring, which is the skill and personal relationship stuff. Advocacy, so again, supporting and accompanying students to get to graduation. And finally, this is a big one, the incentives and the scholarships so that they can really continue on. So my previous work though, working with youth in the social realm through the Mino Bimadazuin program, I find these two experiences uh, since moving to Winnipeg um, has really uh, filled out my life and given me a path that I think I could follow for my entire career. So this is an installation done by our mentoring team. It's the youth describing how they feel society projects all of these negative images, negative words, negative stereotypes on them. Whereas when they wrote down a word that they felt this is what personally represented them, of course you have a very different story. When I found out I was nominated for uh, this award or this, this designation, um, first I was a little concerned. And then when I found out who nominated, I felt a sense of, of closure in a way. It was very interesting. This hasn't happened to me before. And in, and, in, and in the realm that the experience I had with this person uh, was an extension of the, I guess, as she described it, the work that we've been doing for a number of years. Now, this is just uh, what you're called to do, what you should be doing. There really isn't any hesitation. And now you can, have a, you can have a moment to reflect and say, you know, it didn't seem so complex from my perspective, but from hers it seemed like it was a pretty big deal. So it is very much a humbling experience, but closure in that um, I think this can be really duplicated. It can be shared. It can be taught to other youth that they can do this with each other to not get into such a dire situation that she was in.